Hi, today I'm going to be using my portable chop saw with my chainsaw. And I'm going to be going out in the woods and getting some smaller diameter stuff that I can haul a log out to the trailer and the truck and cut right on the spot. So let's see how that goes. Here's the setup I have for this uh, portable chainsaw chop saw. I've shown this uh, rig in a previous video, but it wasn't in a situation that I used in the field. I just uh, left the trailer here and backed the truck up to it. But this time, I'm going to take uh, take it out with me into the woods and cut the wood right on the spot. Okay, so I got the trailer where I want it. Let's get it set up for the for cutting lengths of firewood. Here's the the slider, the table I use between the truck and the trailer to uh, slide the wood on. And this here is the um, stop for the wood to make sure I get it all approximately 16 inches. There it goes. There, that's not going to move anything. I got it marked every 16 inches too, so I can tell how much I have left to cut and if it's going to come out right. So I'm going to get suited up and get out there and get the tree. The tree I'm looking at is right there. It's not too far in and I got a nice path out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure that tree and cut it in lengths that I think I can carry out that short way. So I think this is a oak tree. I can see some oak leaves on it. And uh, it's down and doomed, but uh, I think it's still alive. So it should be good wood. And I'll cut it, I'll find where I want to cut it on this end and make a mark and that's where I'll measure uh, from and decide how big a piece I can carry. Oak's pretty heavy, so uh, try to keep the first one shorter. All right, I think this is about where I wanna make the first cut. So. Probably be easier if I get all this snow off of here. Yeah, let's get that tape in that kerf mark. Yeah, that's sitting in there really snug. Now, let's see, 16. I'll mark them just for the heck of it. But I think I want to carry about a four foot log, this first one, because it's going to be heavy. So here's four feet right here. And what I'm going to do is continue, continue marking these so that I get the next length I want. I guess I don't need to mark every 16 inches because the, the saw setup will do that. All right, uh, let's see. I think I want to go longer with this piece. Maybe I'm ready to go to a 64 incher here as the tree tapers down. Okay, let's get the saw going and get these lengths cut up. Okay, now I've got to get this saw hooked up onto the trailer here where I use it for the chop saw part. I think it came out about the right length because here's my mark. 
for every 16 inches. So I'm right at uh, just four feet right there. So they just drop right into the trailer. Protection. I'm going to get that on and get to work here. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of these cut up and I'll check back with you when I get it all done. Well, I got most of a trailer full of wood out today. It's a good day. Now it's on to the wood pile. We'll see you next time. Bye.